This is Disney Entertainment News Today with WDW News Today. I'm Rob Whiteside, and here now are the top Disney Entertainment stories for Tuesday, October 11th, 2022. Lighthouse Immersive Studios, the producers of the Immersive Van Gogh Experience, has teamed up with Walt Disney Animation Studios to create the Disney Animation Immersive Experience. The experience will debut at Lighthouse Art Space Toronto in December 2022 before moving to Cleveland in February 2023. It's described as a sensory experience like no other that promises to transport audiences into the incredible worlds of beloved Disney characters from hit films of today like Encanto, Zootopia, and Frozen to all the classics including The Lion King, Peter Pan, and Pinocchio. Quote, the collaboration with Lighthouse Immersive is a first for Disney Animation, said Clark Spencer, president, Walt Disney Animation Studios, two-time Academy Award winner in Kanto and Zootopia. It's a dream to bring together the best of animated storytelling with the top experts of the immersive art experience. We can't wait for audiences around the world of all ages to experience the great moments from our legacy of feature films in this incredible way. Lighthouse Immersive founder Corey Ross said, quote, I've grown up with Disney films since childhood, and so has my family. The work lends itself brilliantly to the immersive experience, and I'm confident this program will give our guests the opportunity to be engulfed in the world of Disney, making them feel like they're standing next to their favorite characters and seeing the world through their eyes. The complete schedule and tickets for the Disney Animation Immersive Experience will be available soon, Sales are expected to begin in Cleveland next week. After Toronto and Cleveland, the experience will travel to Nashville, Detroit, Denver, Boston, San Antonio, Las Vegas, Minneapolis, and Columbus during the first four months of 2023. Tokyo will be the first city outside of North America to receive the experience. Watch Stephanie Haney interview Lighthouse Immersive founder Corey Ross right now on our website. Justin Long has been cast as a series regular in the Goosebumps live-action series coming to Disney+. Plus. The new series has been in the works for a few years now. It will follow five high schoolers who unleash supernatural forces upon their town and then must work together to save it, learning about their parents' teenage secrets in the process. Long will portray Nathan Bratt, a new teacher who develops a terrifying connection to a decades-old supernatural murder. Nick Stoller and Rob Letterman will be the writers and executive producers. Letterman, who directed the 2015 Goosebumps feature film, will direct the first episode. Disney Plus has given it a 10-episode order. In Disney-adjacent news, just go with me on this one, Universal Pictures and Nintendo have released the first trailer for the Super Mario Bros. movie. The teaser features Bowser, Mario, Toad, and Luigi, among other characters and creatures. Watch it right now on our website. You can also read up on the latest construction update from Super Nintendo World at Universal Studios Hollywood and check out our full guide to the already complete land in Japan. Werewolf by Night is now appearing at Avengers Campus in Disney California Adventure in celebration of the special presentation by the same name, which began streaming last week on Disney+. Plus. You can see the newest character in action in Disney's TikTok announcement. Also, M'Baku, from Black Panther and Marvel's upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever, will also be appearing in Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure. M'Baku will arrive at Avengers Campus the same day as the new film's release, November 11, 2022. M'Baku, portrayed by Winston Duke, also appeared briefly in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame to fight against Thanos. And finally, in game news, details and new photos have been released for the Disneyland Paris 30th Anniversary Monopoly game. The game is set to be released on October 19th for annual pass holders and October 20th for all other guests. As we've seen before, a pop-up Sleeping Beauty castle is in the center of the board and the park map around it. Some of the properties include Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain, Restaurant Hakuna Matata, Skull Rock, Mad Hatter Teacups, Phantom Manor, and La Carousel de Lancelot. We also got a look at the chance cards. One reads, you took a Disney Premier Access, advanced to Star Wars Hyperspace Mountain. Another says, experience an expert trim at Dapper Dan's haircuts. Pay M15, with M representing Monopoly money. And another chance card reads, 
You are Mickey's special guest. He gives you a free Disney photo pass to capture your favorite memories. Collect M50. You can read more about this game on our website. Are you excited to play Disneyland Paris Monopoly on Family Game Night? Let us know in the comments. For the absolute latest in Disney entertainment news, head on over to WDWNT.com and follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying this show, and of course we hope you are, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDWNT TV on YouTube for more great content, and of course click the bell for notifications. Also hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. And if you enjoy Disney movies and TV shows, do not forget to join us for our weekly review show, Deep in the Plus. We do that live every Wednesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, and you can find previous episodes available on demand right here on WDWNT TV. This month, we're celebrating spooky season and reviewing Marvel's Halloween special, Werewolf by Night. We hope you'll join us. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news and entertainment, this is Rob Whiteside saying don't have a good day, have a great day, and we'll see you next time.